hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to preserve bell pepper for long in your freezer to so all my subscribers both new and old thank you so much for always coming back to support me thank you so much for your love i really appreciate them thank you thank you thank you so much so I have my bell pepper here. I have my ziplock bag, pressed on seal bag, and also white vinegar to clean these peppers. The first thing I will be doing is to wash the peppers. I have water in my bowl and I'll go ahead and add vinegar. If you don't have vinegar at home, you can as well use baking soda. You can use salt, you can use lime juice, you can use lemon juice as well to wash your peppers or any vegetables or fruits that you want to clean. Alright, the reason why I'm using this vinegar to wash my pepper is to help me get rid of pesticides in this pepper and uh, any bacteria on it because where I got this pepper this pepper was exposed so I have to wash it whether you uh, you get something that is being sealed or being packaged or whether it's it, they expose it in the store where you, you you got it from you still need to wash your fruits and vegetables thoroughly to get rid of pesticides in your fruits and vegetables so we we'll go ahead and wash these peppers and get rid of the seed take out of the seed so these are the seeds of the pepper so i might plant since i'm not sure whether i will plant it but i just want to try something new it's like i'm going to plant it i want to try something new okay then I will go ahead by start uh, cutting the pepper into a, any shape that I want, any size that I want it. I got this pepper very cheap. I got it very cheap. All this peppers here is three pounds, so it was very very cheap. And I was so lucky going out that day because. It has been a long time I got pepper this in this uh, small price. This a lot of pepper. This a lot of peppers here because when I sold my husband, I got it three pound. Well, like what? It can't believe it. it was so cheap. So I was very lucky. Immediately I saw it like that. I just pack it without even, you know, even consider whether i have space in my freezer to store it or not just like once i get some i must find the space for this pepper so i decided to do this pepper this way in order to have space to store it in my freezer so if you have a big space you might just want to wash the pepper take out the seed and just store it in your freezer like that without cutting if you have space but if you don't have space in your freezer this is what you might need to do in order for you to be able to store your bell peppers and some other thing you have in your freezer in order to create a space for your things so i will be chopping cutting this into different sizes and according to my desire and the way i use my peppers to cook and fry things as well as you can see these are small sizes you can as well get something like this in store but there is no need to get this i can do it so why getting it in store just, just the same thing so if you like to get your pepper in store like this, you can go ahead and buy it like this. They sell it frozen one. They sell it you can as well. Do this as well if you come across any cheap pepper like especially during summer, you can just do something like this. Just so you know, whenever you want to cook it, you want to fry something, just take it out of your freezer and use it. So I will start by 
putting this pepper in so my um, press and seal bag first before transferring this into the ziplock bag if you don't want to use two bags you can use just one it's up to you but i'm doing this in order to keep my pepper more fresh more fresher or more fresh <laughs> i don't know if i'm if i'm correct okay so here is the first one then i will repeat same process with the remaining peppers this are the pepper that normally had to my if i want to prepare like spaghetti with tomato sauce or noodles so you just had this and so it so i finished putting everything in the press and seal bag now i will start by putting this into the ziplock bag i will be uh, i will be uh, i will put two it's a one ziplock because this ziplock bag is is kind of big so i will be putting two bags of that into this of this pepper into this ziplock bag just two is okay i don't think it can take more than two so this is the best way to preserve your bell peppers i just got i, I bought the bell peppers that i love using I don't know I don't I don't normally use the green one I don't really like it I love the red the yellow and the orange color especially orange and yellow they are sweet like the, the, the flavor in it is very very amazing I love it is very sweet and this red one give your stew your food a very very lovely color and also taste as well when you are making stew any some sauce I love using bell pepper a lot. Always having it at home. If I don't have it in the freezer, I will have it in my fridge. So here are the peppers. It is ready now to take to the freezer. So that just it. So simple. So whenever you come across a lot of peppers, maybe a cheap pepper, just don't just get it and do it this way it will also help you to save money trust me when i uh, went out two days ago peppers like this was about eight in a bowl when i where i got it uh day before yesterday it was, they put it three inside the bowl for a pound like three for a pound so you can see that pepper price sometimes go up sometimes you find it very cheap so thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye